Hello, everybody. Can you hear me? Hello, hello. Welcome. Cool, let's try to double check that. So, hope everybody's doing well. Happy Valentine's Day to everybody. Or as some of us like to call it, happy single awareness day. <laughs> Guys, you know, we're single. We don't care. But uh, at least most of us don't. I know I don't. It's all good. <sighs> so, um, yeah, I was just kind of looking around. I saw, um, I was talking on Bruce's channel a little bit earlier. I saw this one coming up. Thought I'd jump into it. So with that situation, this is a great situation. Oh wow! Uh... Okay. Anyway, so yeah. Um. Hope everybody's doing well. Um, this one is mapped by Stevie. Uh, he did. It's, it's in beta still right now, so I did click, uh, hit a button to do where you can go to his, I think it's on his Facebook too, but uh, you can go to uh, King's Mods. I mean, he's got stuff on there too. I, I hate to push somebody to some another channel or a uh, spot where it's just, you know, that type of scenario. But Hill's View. Uh, updated by it it's uh, 1.0.0.1 right now like I said it's still on beta it is the link below does have the link to get to it um, it's updating some things some uh, 360 degrees Steve wanted a simple map with beautiful 360 degrees you know he wanted to maximize everything so it's uh, anybody that's plays it on Stevie's mod or anything else before, yeah, he does a lot of good stuff. There is a link also in there to do the uh, on that page at the bottom to do um, oh crap, what is it called again? It says drive. Oh, it's a nice drive file. But uh, yeah, so it's good. it's good. So anybody wants to check it out, let me know. Anybody raise your hand? Anybody there? Anybody there? Anybody ready? <laughs> Try and do some type of music that's kind of going to match up a little bit. Oh, let me uh, change screens. That would be very helpful, wouldn't it? So you can all can see what's going on here. So I'm starting off the shop. Clever over at Cleaver. Is it Cleaver or Clever? Hey, where then? Thanks for jumping in and say hello. Hello, David. So is it? So what do you guys think? Is that clever motors or cleaver motors? Like, I'm gonna chop you with my cleaver. <laughs> I had cleaver C L E A, right? Try to put the music in the background, something simple and kind of nice-ish for Valentine's freaking day, whatever. But yeah, this dealership here is so down, down, downtown. Start up by the farm, but I'm gonna start down here and show you guys around. But pretty cool. I mean, I, I was looking at this. I'm like, oh, that's kind. Of... I said I worked today, so I didn't get a chance to really do a whole have, have a lot on here. But kind of looked around a little bit when I had a chance. But yeah, it's got a little bit of a little bit of everything here. Got the Ponzi case, Claus, Jack Denier. I'm gonna open that. That's cool though. I like that American flag, America. But uh, usually come in the shop too. You don't see anybody walking in here, and especially up there. Oh, there's a collectible. Nice. <laughs> it's pretty slick. Automatic doors. That's cool. Where did she go? She just like disappeared. Oh, there's some more. Another collectible. Yeehaw! Oh, there she is. Wow. This guy did the same thing. He's kind of disappeared. Oh, she just went back in that room. Are you serious? I want to go in there. I can't go in there. <laughs> Oops. It's kind of cool. So there's actually people walking around in the shop. Oh, look at that. She got the others. She's just trying to stay away from me. She knows better. <laughs> right, David? Goof. Goofy goober. <laughs> oh, that's somebody else says that one. It's a horse. It's got the collectibles. Man, it's doors are cool. I like the 
Or I can fly it. Oh, you got a gas pump over here, too. And our little piggy, little spotted pig there. From the inventors of the Round Baler. Vermeer Pack DLC. Dun dun dun. Ah, <laughs> oh, there's a Nickinator. Oh. I don't know if I want to give him blueness or not. I'm curious. <laughs> nah, you know, it's. You know, I'm just giving you a hard time, man. You know, it's all good fun. That's what we do. That's why we joke around so much. But, but yeah, this is a pretty cool little spot here. I got to, oh, let me go ahead and check something. I want to be able to get all this stuff set up so we can I can fly around here if I want to. So uh, yeah, the the map. I mean, you come into town here. You got ooh, nude, shiny. For, oh, that's the expansion. No, that's platinum. Speaking of which, anybody need the platinum, or does everybody have the platinum that you guys know of? Platinum DLC or Year One Season Pass, whatever you want to call it. I'm just curious. I got might have an option for somebody if doesn't have if they don't have it. <laughs> Look at that. I like to sign. I want to take it home with me. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Nick, you broke it. So, blame Nick. Oh, not crap. <laughs> no, I feel bad. I just goofing around with it, and it went and fell down. Boom, boom, boom. I already broke it. It. Look at me. I'm crazy that way. Oh, come on. Whatever. We'll just leave it there. Oh, Legacy needs it? Okay. I hear a plane, but I don't see it. Oh, I got critters on, I think, on this too. Dang, cars are moving here. Man, this is Stevie's mod, so anybody that's seen Stevie's, definitely cool stuff. I know, right? <laughs> but, uh, map is right here. Fairly basic, square, pretty well squared off fields. Really cool though. I mean, uh, he's got, you know standard crops, and then uh, he has not so standard crops. So you got alfalfa on here, which is really cool. I clicked on these, and not everything is on here though. Carrots. So I thought this because you start off up here. This is your farm. As you can see, there's a lot of stuff going on up here. You got a milk homogenizer, homogenizer. <laughs> Compost, uh, multi fruit compost. Yeah, so you can compost. See, there's two uh, greenhouses here, too, and these both take compost as one of the inputs, too. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool ideas. You got all the animals up here, two cow pins. I mean, he's got a lot of stuff on here. Bruce Raid, Gaming Joy. What's up, buddy? What's up, Mr. Joshua? Cool. Yeah, I, know, I was going to say something to you guys real quick, and I was like, ah. I mean, I don't, I'm not one of those kind of, like, to sit there and promote, promote myself. If you want to come watch, come watch. If not, yeah, I don't give a crap. <laughs> I'm still going to have fun no matter what, you know? I mean, she's too many people get all butthurt about things, and I don't really care. Yeah, you want to get to 1,000 soon? Yes, awesome. But, whatever. We'll get there. Somebody will happen. It'll happen. But, uh, Stevie's, I mean, anybody played around these, I know Josh... Oh, speaking of which, Josh, too, I know we were talking about that map last week. You're right. It was eight times. It was 9X is what it should have said on there, but it was eight times the size, I guess, what they're saying. Whatever. Either way, the animal pins on there, uh, um, Taz was actually messaging me on uh, um, on the uh, the Court of Discords. Discords. <laughs> And he was saying that looks like because uh, he sent a message to the the mod maker and he asked about the cows not making milk. They'll take up to 24 months, so it takes two years for them to actually start making milk, which is interesting. But they also eat a lot of stuff. Hey, Kenny, what am I doing? I'm I'm kind of talking. What else am I doing? <laughs> Just yapping away, apparently. Jewel, PC Paladin, thanks for jumping in, Kenny. Thank you guys. Thank you, girl too. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, that one, that one I was on the, the Gor Gorbovi, SBC, Gorborg, they had a whole lot of animal pins. Taz was talking about it in somebody else's chat the other night, and I'm like, oh yeah, that one's the one that 
And he's like, well, there's a, cause there's a lot of animal pins. It's a cool idea. You got small area you start off with by the towns if you want to do that. And then you could take off and do, uh, you could go off and do, um, you know, the huge, huge fields are outside of the towns, which is nice. But, but yeah, you don't really hear about 9X, you know, 4X, uh, 16X, and all those other things, but nothing really in between like that. So that was pretty interesting. Hey, Charlie boy. Thanks, Jordan. Say hello. Yeah, see, then uh, this one here, we actually have millet. So this is part of our farm. There's contracts on here, too, just like a net standard. Pretty good size stuff. But as you can see, you got two cow bars, chicken, and sheep, pig, and a custom horse. Oh, barn two. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so we'll go ahead and uh, just bounce around real quick, too. I'll show you the corners, the earth here, you know, carpentry. Carpentry. And to see the tapestry. Oh, that's the wrong thing. Carpentry, not tapestry. Oh, selwood. I'm like, why isn't it working? So, mostly standard stuff, just like anywhere else you, know, you could buy. Things there. Miller's Sawmill. Anybody last name Miller? Miller, Miller, Miller. Miller. What Miller? Frizzy Spitz. Extreme. You got your biogas plant there too. So there's a lot of oh, that's it's the map. There. Wow, that's cool. I guess the grass doesn't look so. But the trees, it doesn't look like it, but the grass does kind of just stop. Oh crap! No, I'm stuck. Okay, I was gonna say, no, I'm stuck. So you got sawmill. Ah, crumb. There's a sawmill there. That's cool. Got some pallets over here. They're not... Oh, no collisions on them, so there you go. Hey, farm some freak. What's up, Scott? Welcome in, sir. Hope you're doing well. Thanks for jumping in and saying hello. It's always good to see people coming around, especially good people like... Well, not Nick, but... <laughs> I'm joking, but... So, okay, so you got a wood cell point, and must be a point to go into the... Uh, Productions. Hmm, interesting. There are wood chips. How many wood chips would a wood chip, wood chip, wood, with a wood chip, wood chip, wood chip, wood? Valentine, that's what I say. Shovel it. <laughs> so, yeah, this is pretty cool. Oh, look at that. Biogas paint plant. I like the sign. That's cool. This one's still in beta. So, from the from the, the way the map, uh, the thing showed on... King's mod, it says still in beta, so you got your silage pits here. I'll go ahead and just, we'll just kind of float around, checking things out. I really wish you could use some of these trucks, because this would be cool. On uh, Upper Mississippi River Valley, if you're at the far, at the, uh, um, if you're at the shop, you can actually get in the John Deere's there. You can't drive them or do anything with them, but it's kind of cool. Uh, I don't think... I don't remember I, I think about it. But you actually sit in the thing. It's like, it's John Deere, so I don't like to sit in them anyway because it hurts my butt. <laughs> Shut up, Nick. <laughs> What's wrong with my stream chat? Oh, what? Oh, Farm Sim Freak, sorry. <laughs> I'm like, what? don't talk to me like that. If something's wrong, say something at the beginning so I can fix it as soon as possible. <laughs> Well, that's interesting. The grass kind of changes from like, oh well. I gotta adjust some of my settings because I keep on readjusting some things, and it gets worse, and it gets better, then it gets. It's like good grief. Okay, there we are. Jeez, the walls are crazy here. What's going on? Why am I getting stuck on these things? Why am I stuck here when the wall's way up here? That's weird. So I can go over it here. I keep getting stuck on the wall. <laughs> Very interesting. Indeed. Well, yeah, you get the biogas plant and everything. So most looks like everything's kind of corner. I mean, you got a lot of field, which is good. You got who doesn't want fields, right? <laughs> it's just for you, St Mr. Stiggy Poo. You know, nuclear. 
There's a salmon that's smoking in here. Hey, buddy. <laughs> What's going on, man? How you doing? Thanks for jumping in. Said hello. Appreciate it. Then you have your green the factory. Uh, yeah, that a sugar mill. Of course, he puts the, which is cool because it's not just uh, he doesn't just put. Oh, that's got some funky noise. Thought something was biting me. Oh, cool. Why are they gotta be John Deere green? But that's cool. I like the oil pump and things. So that is the oil field supply point. <laughs> Was what a laser? It's a laser beam. Got freaking sharks with freaking laser beams on them. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I gotta check. I keep on forgetting the chats behind, so I look at my screen and hear what you guys are saying, and I'm like, wait. It's still back at the other thing there. <laughs> Got your green sugar mill. Oh, that's the sugar mill that Stevie has. Sugar mill and your grains drop off. Sell the point. Now, I like how it's high in here because we all know those tipper trailers like to crap hit stuff on the top. It's not fun at all. <laughs> it's pretty good sized fields here, too. And we got, what's that? 41 acres there. Not as big as the last one where we had those 500 and some odd freaking acres. Those things were huge. Oh, that's sugar beets, too. Who the heck? Who wants to do sugar beets on a 48-acre field? Not Rob, says me. <laughs> and, of course, you go to, through downtown here. There's the lake pond thingy over here. There's a little toy right there. A little collectible thing, you blah blah blah. Whoa, hey, I'm going too fast apparently. Boom. It's interesting. There's a, I'm assuming this must fill up a little more, because why would you have a dock on a place where there's not much. Oh, that's interesting. I guess I'm always looking for the pink, huh? Yeah, <laughs> shorty's like, <laughs> put the little people down like, uh-oh, you can't come up, hee <laughs> oh, hee. that's just not nice. It's funny you say that, um, oh gosh, what's his name, um, it's Brad something, I can't remember what the heck his last name is now. He's a comedian, he's a midget guy, he's freaking hilarious, he's talking about how his dad actually, uh, gosh, it's Brad something, I keep seeing him on some of my feeds that I watch, I watch uh, a lot of the comedy stuff, especially right for bed, I give some something to laugh about for a little bit before I go to sleep. But he was talking about how his dad, his parents were regular size, and he's like four foot something. And he said when he was a kid to discipline him, he would never hit him because you don't hit a midget. <laughs> he's like, hey, what my dad would do is he'd take me and put me in the kitchen on the counter and then walk away and leave him there because he can't jump off of it. <laughs> That's freaking hilarious. But it's also just the way, you know, some people do things differently. It's kind of funny, but... It's nice when people can joke around about their own things and do stuff like that, but especially for comedians, it makes it even funnier. Well, I'm pretty sure this is the animal dealer, but it looks like they only have cows here. So that's pretty cool. Nice little area. Slurry near. That looks kind of gross. <laughs> they're in compost. That's what that is. Okay. I, see, I haven't really been out here to see anybody. <laughs> no, I just I just watched one of your streams, Nick. I'm like, ha ha, that's the stupidest thing ever. <laughs> just mess with you, dude. Oh, don't be sorry about it, man. I do the same things. I mean, there's a line, yes, but I don't think we've ever crossed that. And there's a there's a pretty far out there line, honestly. <laughs> Chad, hope your piggy's coming along well, buddy. Mr. Chad sending out bacon for everybody. Yay! <laughs> Who doesn't like some good old bacon? 
Oh, this is interesting. What's on this? Ferdy. <laughs> I take it that's fertilizer there, huh? Because if it's not, then uh, that's an interesting name for it. <laughs> That's cool. Oh, I swear I heard a pigeon. Unless it's part of that critters mod. That's trippy. Good old Johnson's farmer. Like that guy about the dog on Johnson boy. Hillsview. See, I put everything in here and I put Hillview because I thought it was Hill. I went and looked at it right before it. Oh, crap. I got to change it. To, put the S on the end of that. Cause it's Hills. S. Like plural. Well, this is a nice way to do a restaurant here. Put some actual tables outside. Hey, what a concept. That's awesome. I like that. Me, me familia. That's cool. I like it. I like it. I like it. Bowling alley. Oh, they're back there. Who? Oh, I don't see the bowling balls anywhere, do you? It's a basketball. I don't see the bowling pins. Oh, man. Kind of the same collectible things, but slightly edited. Ah, oh, it's the bowling pins. Bummer. Oh, well, it's all good. <laughs> yeah, it's almost like Gertie, but it's Ferdy. I guess it might be Gertie's sister, Ferdy. Just the one you want, Nick, right? The Ferdy, not the Gertie. <laughs> I'm not trying to collect all the collectibles. It's a hundred of them on here, man. See right here? Boom. Right over here. We got seven out of 11. I mean, seven out of 100. <laughs> but uh, where are we at now? Okay, we're going to go down over here, check those out, and then we'll go back up to the main farm, show you what's got going on down there. Compost and wood chipping. It's pretty nice. I mean, like I said, Stevie does really good almost any of his maps. Most of them he does just kind of like one farm or whatever on there, but it really does really well with it. It really makes him nice. Well, that's kind of cool. Sherwood's all-purpose growing compost. Huh. I never really made compost before, so I think I'm going to have to try that out. That's pretty cute. Holy crap. Gotta have a lot of money to run that thing, though. More than $500,000. Some beach. It's crazy. It's a science say. Composting and chipping. Cool. Oh, it's a light. I was like, what is that? <laughs> That's cool. But yeah, $500,000. Holy cow. Then you got your uh, cereal, french fries, oil mill. Potato cleaner. Oh, I thought there was a guy there. What? Biodiesel fuel. Great processing. He's put a lot of stuff on his map already. Grain mill. And you got your feed sales over there. There's your crispy fridge. Crispy fries company. Woo! Hey, KH. Uh, this is PC only. And uh, I'm just doing a tour on it. If not, it's just single player. It's not on a server, sorry, bud. I should get the cleaners here so you can clean. Let's see what's going on here. Ah, 400000 for that, too. Wow, it's expensive. Very, very pricey. See how much the pota this potato, the French fry oil, oh, that's oil mill. Fry company is, see how much this one runs. Hey, 400 again, dang, dang. Got your grapes, that's got, see how that cup. The little edits there too. You got grapes actually. It looks like there's been grapes dumped in there. You got the little aftermath. Speaking of which, anybody check that new mod that came out? The one with the. You can actually do grapeseed oil. That's a pretty cool idea. Now, I tried doing some. I had some problems here. I don't know if anybody. I mean, like I said, I was working, so I didn't get a chance to play around a whole lot. Uh, but anyway. I did edit some a few things, or I found a couple. Th the um, for some reason when I tried jumping in, I, I froze. I couldn't figure out what was going on. Oh, that's cool. That's outside the map. There you got windmills. Huh, cool. But uh, for some reason that that you know the um, 
the net wrap, the 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 wrap stuff for the balers. There's two different versions. One's the net, and one's for this. One's for the square, one's for the round bales. For some reason, I did the up update today, and I, everything froze. When I got on the map, it just stopped. It froze on me. Like what the heck? I took those mods out, and it was fine, which is really weird. But the problem. I, so if you have any problems, just look into that, because that could be the issue. But other side of that one, the one that looks pretty cool is that new mod with the grape seed. Uh, I don't know if I put it on here. I doubt it, because it was last minute stuff here. But but you make grape seeds, man. I got way too many mods in here. Yeah. I should have changed this up. I shouldn't have put all the stuff in here. Uh, this way I could just do the what's in this map mod. So that's my bad. Sorry. I don't think I have that here. But either way, it's kind of a... Yeah, here's some stuff from his... Compost mixture, hills farm. This is a. Uh... Well, these are all hills farm. Okay, cool, cool. So, yeah. So, there you go. There's mods on here, too. <laughs> hills farms by Stevie's. Not the ice cream, but to here. You got the multi fruit silo, grass dryer. It says multi fruit dryer by Stevie. That says grass dryer on it, so that's interesting. You got your silage, you got your carpentry. You got carp the carpentry. I don't know why I want to keep saying it that way. So all these here, ooh, there's some special stuff in the ticks. Sugar mill, ooh. And the compost stuff's a pretty interesting idea, too. Oh, look at that dairy. Ooh, milkshake. I want to do, oh, I see a strawberry ice cream. Ice cream sounds tasty right about now. Know what I'm saying? Know what I'm saying? Mm hmm Chocolate sounds good, too. I don't know why, but... Oh, no, I know why, because chocolate's freaking amazing. <laughs> oh, look at that. Potatoes it comes out with uh, clean spuds. Hom homogenizer for the milks. Well, that's a pretty cool-looking one. And I guess that's pretty much all those. Now, anybody that looks on the fish farms, look for this one. That shows fish in it already. I feel bad for some of the people that are putting other fish farm here that doesn't have fish in it. Because I know uh, um, Big Rig Frosty's trying to do a map. He put he put that other fish farm and he had it all edited up. And I was excited about it. And he went to go put fish, feed it. And I'm like, that's the one that doesn't have fish food. Like, what? I felt bad for him. Uh-oh, there's a legendary legend of legends in here. What? What's up, Mr. Stu Meister? Who wants some distillery here, Bubba? Where did I get these mods from? I don't even know where I got them from. Oh, I know where these are from. Something else. Coffee. Man, I got way too many weird stuff in here. Speaking of weird stuff, I'm going to show you guys something really funky. You want to see something funky? Um, This is funky. Tell me if this isn't funky or not. Um, do, 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 do. How about them apples? Comes up as Fint Vario. You can go up to 246 horsepower. Those bulls are definitely well off. <laughs> Isn't that cool, though? I mean, I'll, I'll try to remember to play around with it. Beacon light? What? Where's the beacon going? Her butt? <laughs> but yeah. I was just tinkering around with stuff. I'm like, wait, I don't remember having that on here. That's cool. But it's for another mod map that I was playing around on, and uh, I never deleted it. This is my main folder. It has a bunch of crap that i got to clean up. <laughs> What's going on, Mr. Stu? How you doing today? Or I guess it's morning where you're at, isn't it? Or almost. Nice bulls. <laughs> gotcha. I see what you did there. <laughs> Yeah, this is uh, that area there. And then, uh, right, let's go ahead and go back to the sh Oh, actually, we got to go up here, don't we? 
Yum. No, that's not a mod. <laughs> it's a map. I was playing around with something. I found a map. It's pretty funky. I'll have to find it and look it up again. It's... <laughs> They have a bunch of different mods and different things that go in there, and I'm like, what? And it's just looks like the animals too. Uh, see, this is something from. Uh, I like these ones. These are from, they're called they say Hoff mods. I don't know why in the world I got them from, but I don't remember where in the world it was the piggies. Oops, crap. No. Yeah, right here. Oh, that's just an open pin, but this here is uh, called Freeland Schwein by Eriks. It, it's definitely some. The one map I was looking at, it's it's got it's pretty funky. I think I can't remember where it all. I'll have to look it all up again. I'm sorry, Jewel. <laughs> but no, it's it's not a mod for sure. But yeah, it's got some pretty interesting stuff in there, but. Got your petrol station here, as Stu would call it. It's a gas station. Garrison, but it's supposed to be Grayson, isn't it? Uh, and look at that, some Lux Light. Ooh. Bella Light? Uh-oh. Oh, speaking of which, our friend Bella Sin, she's been sick, unfortunately, so she said she's getting better. I don't know if anybody follows her, she just puts up, posts some on her YouTube, so. I just saw that Bella light, and I'm like, oh, no, Bella. That made sense, but it's Bella time. <laughs> Tell me that's not a funky slogan right there. We'll go steal that. All right. And then we got some uh, you know, more transports. There's derriere. Look at that floating around. That's a big old glass of milk waiting to happen, huh? So... Got your farm, you got your stuff. So we head up to the farm area, show you all what you got going on up there. Um, we got a vehicle that I want to go ahead and grab that one. And no, this is not on Mod Hub either. <laughs> but you can edit it and put the trans in. I've played, I used this on another map at one point, but. It just sounds cool and stuff to you. Hoo hoo, baby, it gets the moving. Right, let's see which way do we want to go from here. Oh, I guess it doesn't matter. Everything loops up there, so we'll head. Uh, let's go to the right. Whoa! <laughs> Trying to drag race is not a good idea when you spin and turn in because it throws you sideways. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is not the best idea to do in town, huh? Make sure. Oh, yeah, I, can't, I guess I can look at the mini map. But... <laughs> Driving this Pontiac like a maniac. What? I'm surprised it's not like a real muscle car, though. I remember back in the 80s and 90s when I had my car. I had a 69 Impala, 354 barrel. It wasn't super fast, but it was a. Nice, fun, fast car. Here's the main farm area. So, yeah. Wow, am I losing? Ooh, my FPS is pooped out. I'll be. We had a. Uh, um, yeah, you hit that gas, man. It would suck so much fuel out. It's crazy how that's. You had to get gas like every 10 minutes, it felt like. So, main farm, you come in here, you got. Uh, here's your house here. Pretty cool little house here. You got a little water spurter here. 
Ooh, it's cold water. <laughs> oh, yeah, take care. Go, go get those kids. I just dropped mine off before I... Oh, wait. Yeah, no, you're good. Neat little home. You got your sleep trigger there. You got your... Well, we should change that, shouldn't we? Let's go with Klaus today. Klausy Klaus Klaus. They don't have a Klaus hat here. Oh, there we are. Oh, that's not. Oh. Well, son of a bun. We're going to go with the farm some hat. There we go. And there you go. I wish this door open. That'd be really cool. Garage door, drive right in, boom. But you do have a carport out here, which is nice. I guess this is like the rest of Americans, where they just put a bunch of crap in the garage and they don't have, can't fit the car in. <laughs> yeah, it is. I it took me a minute to figure out which one it was because you got like three options for it, and I put the drag one, which is so fast. To be careful with that thing, but the Trans Am, the Firebird on the top, man, it's so cool. Oh, nice. Well, th thank you for your service, too, by the way. But, yeah, I I joined the Army two weeks after I graduated high school. Uh, I had a 69 Impala. And uh, when I went from Colorado here, went to South Carolina from June to August. It was just way too hot. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I had uh, my Impala set, stayed here at home. And then I went to Seattle to, Fl to Fort Jack, South Carolina from June to August for basic. For Belvoir, Virginia, for training from August to December. In December, we f they flew us all out to Seattle. Well, I went to Seattle, Washington, so I was stationed up there up in Fort Lewis, Washington, which is like literally across the, almost the widest part of the United States. <laughs> Gee, but uh, in that part, you know, we we also had um, it was a beautiful area up there. It just rained a lot. Well, Nuke, yeah, he's from up there. He's it's a beautiful area, it really is. It's really nice. Just that drizzle rain just lasts forever and ever. But it's all good. It's it was it was nice. It was a good time. So So when you come into main farm on this part here, you got your chicken coop here, which is five hundred chickens. So we'll throw a few hundred in there, right? Boom boom. A hundred Oh, they just run everywhere, don't they? So they're free roaming, obviously. So that's good. But if you come back through here, obviously this is one of the cow barns. Cow sheds, it takes 500 cows, and you have your feeder, feeder, bam, bam. So, we'll throw some cows in that one, and we'll throw a different kind of wow, oh, run this. Oh, what the heck! And we'll throw in some, some Ingus, put some beef in there, huh? <laughs> you got a couple garage sheds over here. We got sheds down here. Oh wow, I didn't even look in here yet. Oh, look at that, that's cool. Hey, it's DVC, how's it going there? Thanks for jumping in and say hello. Yeah, I did the the delayed entry. Yep, same there. Oh, I did the oh Fort Jackson, South Carolina. Man, it was hot out there. Wash. It's not good. And here you got your sheep. Yep, sheep. So we'll throw. Some of these guys in there, huh? 500 on all these, which is nice. So obviously, if you're on P, obviously being on PC, but if you're gonna play on it, good idea to go ahead and add some animal stuff. I mean, I guess you don't need all that to some degree, but see, and that's the weird thing is some of the equipment you put in here. See, now this is a case. Awesome. It's got a mixture of stuff. You got some big old. Now this is another. This is all. Oh, this is your piggies here. Got your piggies there. Boom. Oh, they're outside too. Cool. I wasn't sure if they're all inside or not, but huh. And you have like uh, your sheds here. This nice big open shed. You go in and get the trigger. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> and we're all a big happy family here, Stevie. We all jump around and hang out with each other. This is pretty cool too. This uh so this is a hay uh, barn cell point. Large farm barn cell point. So 
put your hay and stuff here and it sells right off. That's pretty cool. Ah, pretty nifty. Multigrain silo. Multi silo. 15,000. Oh, there's stuff in there already? Sweet. Can't hate on that. Get your free water. Got your. Oh, it's there's the water. Okay. Where's the water at? <laughs> Multi fruit side, then we got two silage productions. Yeah, you got your dry grass dryer silage. So cool, cool, cool. But this is what it comes with. So, oh, there's also a shop back over here. It's got two shops on it, which is pretty cool. You got a standard shed there, you got the drive in shop there. When you come over here, you have your. Uh, Oh, yeah. Is that where you got stationed at, Alabama, or Jackson, South Carolina, or Alabama? Yeah, they're pretty close to each other. But so you come with these here, then you comes with. Um, I'm gonna have to. It comes with this stuff. So you got the power, which is cool. I like the I like the push one because it pushes it back. So you don't have to lift up like that. Got a little roller there. I bought this one because this was this was what was here. I'm not. I didn't delete. I didn't sell off the John Deere's yet because I just wanted to show you what came with the map. Everything that's with the map is new farmer mode. I left on here the way it is for now. <laughs> but you'll see me sell those in about five minutes here. <laughs> you got your manure pits for those on the edges there, which is pretty cool. And same thing over here. You got this is what was on the map. Like I said, this is, I change it up to match fairly close jeez my frames are dropping like mad these John Deere things but I got these yay for us so I got cloths it's still green I mean I guess it could have went fent too but I haven't used cloths in a while so and the big cloth harvester is pretty cute it's a cloth there and I like this little this is a pretty cool bin here I don't know if everybody's played with this one just old school looking um. Yeah, it's thirty thousand liters. So it's not tiny either, which is a pretty neat little setup there. Um. Yeah, when you come out of the main farm, you start off with the John Deere. Like I said I bought the other one there, and you come out with that eight RX. Um. Speaking of which, let's go ahead and get rid of those. Boom. So yeah, those things are gone. Bye bye. <laughs> Medium tractor and large tractor. So then your trucks, they, they're your harvesters. Same thing, John Deere. Get rid of that. Cars, I bought that. Trailers. Oh, you got the two different trailers, yeah. Auger wings. Well, we don't really need that one. Mower comes with this Kong, Kong slide. Kong slide mowers. <laughs> well, at least at least somebody does, Jewel. Actually, I don't hate John Deere. It's just so many people are like, oh my god, John Deere. It just gets really annoying, so. That's all. If it's your, like, Chad, he uses John Deere. He's no John Deere. I'd give him a hard time about it, but it's his thing. It's not a big deal. Got several other things here. Another plow. Eight meters. So that's not terrible. Whoops, don't want to delete that. See, some of these have been edited by Stevie here. So, yeah, that's definitely, I think, got more capacity. Plus, as you can see, it puts more crop. Wow, that puts everything in. Nice. Now, I like to see that. <laughs> oh, nice. Yeah. Well, what, what, when were you in? Pallet or BC? Oh, gosh. What? I can't remember your name off the top of my head. Dig it. <laughs> I was in 92 to 95. So I graduated in 92. Towards the end of... Except, my birthday's in May, so I was able to go in when I was still seven, I think, or no, five, for kindergarten. I think my brother had to wait a year because he's in September. But I graduated in 92, so I, gradu I turned 18 in the beginning of May, May 7th, and then by the end of May, I graduated. Two weeks later, June 12th, 1992, boom, straight to basic training. So I don't delayed entry crap. <laughs> 
But yeah, you can see that this is cool. I mean, you don't have to buy another planter or cedar either because you can plant crops. You plant the, the uh, cotton. You can plant the seed, the sorghum, or the sunflowers. You can plant the dang, you can do potatoes and everything on this thing. You got onions and carrots and millet and blah blah and blue blue and blue blue. <laughs> 85 to 88. Oh, wow. A little, little before me, that's for sure. Oh, yeah. No problem. It's, being a young kid, it's kind of like... Didn't even realize it was a service, but yeah, it was... It's It was it was different. But yeah, no, it's... Um, then you got the sprayer. So yeah, all these things come with the map here. Uh, well, sorry. Not that one. Tedder, Windrower. Yeah, I don't think. Yeah, I don't think those are edited by him. Man, I'm gonna take some. I have to take some time and really play on this because he got so many different things on here. That there, that there. Compactor. That's right. Yeah, I don't ever use those. Does anybody else use the silo compactors really? Uh, I don't know which one to delete now. That I think about it. Oh, wow, and I, H, yeah, I got 40 years on you. <laughs> you. feel old sometimes, but, you know, there's a lot of there's a lot of older people that actually play these games. It's pretty wild. Really nice views. I do have the red light on here. I'm not sure if he has it as one, too, but David mentioned to me, and once I tried it out, Mr. Kermy, I was just like, wow, that does really... It, it gives it a little bit of brightness, but also it just, just makes it more unique and a little more realistic, but it's pretty cool. Oh, yeah, then you have a uh, horse pen here. So horses are here. Ah, uh, sorry, I had to go. <laughs> hey, Bruce! What's up, buddy? Which horse should I get? Pick one. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Get to go by a toe. If you want to blow, 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 I mean, uh, that's neat too. You got a little shop area type thing. Um, size pit, boom, big old, big old size pit, really nice. I'm trying to remember where the other. Shop thing was at. I know it was another trigger for a shop. I might be losing my marbles. But anyway. It's all Nick's fault. Blame Nick. <laughs> yeah, I don't ever usually either. I mean, I think I should probably try. I mean, it's just easier to throw them in a bale and throw them aside for a little while. You know, boom, done. So, <laughs> Oop, chicken run around over. So animals. Let's check a look at those now. I'm thinking about it too. So here's our productions that we have. So standard. The dryer there, you put grass in, you get hay. You put the alfalfa and you get alfalfa or alfalfa windrow in, and you get dry alfalfa windrow. So, same thing over here with the silage. You get put straw or what is that? Dry alfalfa. Sorry, I'm not used to some of these. Grass, you get silage. Oh, you yeah, put oh, you get digestate too. Nice, that's pretty awesome. You should all get digestate from that stuff. Yeah, Bruce does a great job, usually. <laughs> no, Bruce does great. It's kind of cool, is some of the people you can kind of set your clock to. Boom, Steve. My afternoon, I've, some, I catch some people during the day here and there. When I'm at work, it's kind of hard, depending on it. I might catch a minute, but, you know, Bruce is on 2 to 7. Well, my time is on 2 to 5. So, because I'm two hours behind, or hour behind you, I think, right, Bruce? But, uh... Oh, maybe... I don't know, whatever. But uh, either way, we, so yeah, catch Bruce, always watch him. Um, I usually catch like Farmer Klein later in the evening, uh, 6 to 8 my time. Uh, just everybody, you know, it's nice to catch, some, especially when you get a group of people that you know and they keep it going the same way. It's pretty nice. Composter, everything. And that's the nice thing about the composter he's got here, too. It's 
thousand for a thousand, so you're not losing anything, which is cool. Straw, which is really cool because you can make straw compost. So you compost that you want to use the straw that you don't need anymore because you know how straw is kind of a meh. Just throw that in there, bam, good to go. Hey, Scott Douglas, thank you for jumping and say hello. Appreciate it, man. Alberta, nice. Canada, it's a little chilly up that way, isn't it? <laughs> And uh, so they got here. So he's got two um, greenhouses in here. Both of them do tomatoes, but one does lettuce, strawberries, like the normal, but also red cabbage. The other one, he's got tomatoes again, and then melon, carrots, and pumpkin. I'm like, oh, that's kind of cool. But see, as you can see what it takes water, compost, and manure. So you have to have those to get it going but oh man I just really want to now I want to do that. and the milk you could actually turn the milk into a homogenized milk which I'm sure will give you a lot more money and of course being on PC I have liming options I, I like that because you can actually lime people's fields and get a little extra money on them so it's pretty cool here's your animals and chickens as you can see wheat barley or sorghum and maize or soybeans. So you take 50-50, so it takes a little bit different feed. Stevie's known for doing some extra things, which I think that's a little more realistic as well. It's like a uh, Mac trucker on the uh, New Jersey map there. He had same type of thing. You do cracked corn. Chickens take cracked corn, which Jimmy said he didn't care, but you know, Jimmy cracked corn anyway. <laughs> uh, sorry, bad joke. But no, it's off. It's, it's, it's neat to see some of the more... And like on Hof Bergman, chickens actually produce manure, which is totally different as well. Cows? Okay, you got the same... Oh, wait, what is this? It doesn't say what the percentage is, really. Hmm. It usually shows the percentage, but you get the silage or grass and alfalfa windrow, dry grass or dry alfalfa windrow, mineral feed there. So basically... The straw. I wonder if it's the same stuff. I'll have to check it. I'll have to test the stuff out, man. <laughs> same thing here. You got the grass and silage. They take both for the sheep. Piggies. Looks like they're about the same. Ooh. Yeah. Maize or sorghum. So you can actually give them sorghum. Wheat, barley. I think it's supposed to be wheat or barley. Soybean, canola, or sunflowers. And then you got your potato, sugar, beet, or carrot, or potatoes. They take a little bit. Pigs eat everything, right? <laughs> and horses, uh, same thing. Oat, sorghum, or carrot, dry grass, or dry alfalfa windrow. So that's interesting. It's nice. See a little bit of difference. <laughs> Did to get your face? What'd you eat tonight, Bruce? Come around here, you got your bees yelling at you. you. Got your bee, and I like the fact he's got the bigger bee catcher here. That's one thing I noticed too, because I'm on a multiplayer with some, some other guys. And they have Dom's Jeep in there, which is awesome. It does not take honey, it's the only thing it doesn't take. I'm like, darn it, because that's all I was piling up some honey in it, and I couldn't get it to put it in the trail. I'm like, no. <laughs> So I, I need mean, to send him a message. I think he probably already knows, but still would be kind of cool to throw him a message on it. Got your Sherwoods there. Yeah, so you put your input. Oh, wait, so that's it. What is that? The output? Oh, I must be getting some uh, water, manure, and stuff goes in there. It must be into those. Cool. Well, what is the output there? Other than what you're getting. Hmm. Usually you get... This is an output spot, unless you're putting... Maybe the compost goes there. I have, to, I have to look into this. I'm sorry. But so there's that one there, and then you have the other... Same, same look to them, but just different stuff in them. This is the tomatoes, melons, carrots, and pumpkin. This is the... Tomato, lettuce, strawberry, and cabbage. Red cabbage. Yeah. And then this is your... Compost mixture. All right, so we make compost there. Then you have your 
homogenizer. 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 <laughs> Hey, Jordan Parker! Thanks for coming to say hello. Uh, yeah, if you if you want to hit subscribe, but you don't have to. I mean, but more than welcome to. It doesn't. It's free. It doesn't hurt anybody. And these are our fields out here. I got sorghum here, and we have um, soybeans over here. So I'm gonna pull up this the soybean. Or, who's that? Let's go ahead and get the harvester on. The, ooh, wrong slot. Let's get the harvester on the, uh... Alright, I really want to... I really want to get inside to one of these things, man. This looks so cool. Look at that thing just moving. Shh. So cool. Alright, All right, and then we'll go ahead and just park this guy here. This is what I like about the Colossus ones, too. So when you hit the buttons on them, it actually, or when you put it back on that heart, that header, oh, you grab it. It's so awesome. No, it doesn't, Bruce. That's what threw me off. I'm like, wait, what? There's like everything, literally everything else. I'm like, that's weird. Because I don't do honey much anymore after the first part of the game. I'm like, oh, you know what? Because um, Farmer Klein has a, a group on uh, UMRV. They had it full, so and then somebody backed out, and Schultz modding, he's like, hey, uh, you want to jump on one of the farms? This guy's not showing up. I'm like, sure, I'll check it out. Sure enough, I did, and uh, you know what? Almost all, since it was later, almost all the productions were taken, so I'm like, you know what? Let me go ahead and check and see what's there. Well, the cereal factory was there. I'm like, you know, let me check it out. I didn't want to buy it and then screw up and not do anything with it, because you know how much cereal takes. But it takes, it does oatmeal. It takes oats and honey. To make oatmeal, I'm like, well, crap, I can do that. So I grab the honey stuff, and I'm like, wait, the freaking tractor doesn't take honey? I'm like, what's up with that, man? So this, let's see what this does. Does this give me straw? No, it's not. Ah, poop. <laughs> I don't have that mod on here. I, I have the uh, extra crops things but oh yeah yeah I don't I've not been on Twitch and don't look a whole lot on the Twitch but uh no you're welcome Jordan yeah we're so many people here we're just we're just hanging out and have a good time chit chat a little bit yeah PDA Ooh, let me get down to it it's fairly basic. I mean, it kind of reminds me of some of Cad 64 because he has some pretty square fields and rounded and the colors on her. But yeah, it's fairly basic, nice, pretty squared off fields, which is really good for for helpers. Which, speaking of which, I'm just going to throw a helper on that. <laughs> that way I don't run off in the woods. <laughs> That's never good. But he's also got the extra crops here. Got the carrot, onion, rye, spelt, triticle, millet. That's what we're actually harvesting right now. Hops and pop, pop, poppy. Oh yeah, this is. That's right. This is millet. It looks like the sorghum, doesn't it? <laughs> that's why I can't get the. Okay, that makes worse. Now it just hit me. Yeah, I, this when I first started. Jordan was on FS19 when it was free for PlayStation. So I started playing it on there, and then I was like, "Whoa, this is cool!" Then I got, oh, "There's mods!" Oh my gosh, this and that, and I just, just got hooked so much on there. All right, Stevie. Well, you yeah, have a good night. Get some rest. Yeah, you're more than welcome to hang out. Like I said, I usually go for about another hour or so, maybe. Just a couple hours, nothing major. Just get some time in. I like to show off whatever maps are available some people don't know about, or just hang out. You know, I mean, it's not a big... We're all here to have some fun. That's the whole point. Um, I don't see any grass fields now that I think about it. That's interesting. Let me go ahead and grab the tractor and see if we can do. I'm curious if we can do some uh, grass around the sides. Whoa, crap! Zooming. Yeah, and then I ended up uh, getting a PC, and oh my gosh, I tell you what, man, it's, <laughs> it's a whole other world. 
I feel bad for my poor PlayStation. I haven't touched it in so long now because the PC just like has everything. And then more. But it's all good fun, you know, just having have some fun with it. Thing with mods and stuff on this though, man, there's a uh, There's a lot of things. A lot of things on PC side hole. You can ask CBW Farms there, Mr. Chad. He edits and mods and does so many things with his own stuff nowadays. It's like he doesn't he doesn't do anything with his uh his poor PlayStation either. <laughs> so I'm curious, um if I can get some grass mode here if it's gonna let me mow this or not. See what happens with the field grass. Yeah, you can, um, well, the problem is the, the licensing, Jordan, if, if you, so like there's a, uh, crap, I don't know if I have anything on here. I have an old Chevy pickup that I got off of, uh, one of the online mods, but Chevy's not a brand that farm sim has, you know, like Kubota's a name, like, well, there's this one here too, Pontiac Firebird. It's a mod off of another website for PC only because Giants doesn't have the licensing for it so they can't technically use it in their game and say that's theirs. Now if you're on PC you could take and readjust and edit things and move them into there but unfortunately it doesn't do that. Yeah see here's the Jeep Bruce look down at the bottom there's no honey on it I mean you got trees you got cotton you got eggs you got bread you got cakes you got butter you got cheese fabric grapes olives everything well there is honey on there wait a second i just saw honey on there that is weird it, it didn't show it on the one that i was looking at that doesn't make sense i wonder if they haven't updated that one in a minute that might be another problem Yeah, I had a PS4. That's where I had mine originally at. And then uh, right when I was getting the game, I think I got my PS5. So I'm pretty excited about that one. Yeah, PCs, you have all the extra stuff. But of course, it's, uh, it's a little different. Okay, cool. We're making grass. We're making grass. We're chopping up the grass. I'm gonna have to get that Jeep down and try that out because that's that's throwing me off. I don't know why I couldn't on that one. I backed up to it, I went up to it and everything, and it did not. Sh I did not. I swear, I did not see honey under it. I just saw it on there, which makes uh, a little irritated. A little irritating, but hey, it also makes it go. Wait, I gotta try it again now. Nah. That Jeep is awesome. I love that Jeep. You did a heck of a job. What you can do with it. Not realistic, no, but dang it, it is cool. <laughs> Super cool. If you join, this is a single player. Unfortunately, there's nobody else. It's just, yeah, I don't. It's on PC and it's a single player one, so you can't, you can't use a, you can't play on this one with the PlayStation. Sorry, bud. Hey, if you join the Discord, the FS crew especially, there's a group of us that play. we got several people in there. Uh, mine, same thing. Anybody. I mean, Bruce has got one, too. I mean, we all have a bunch of stuff. Everybody's a little bit different. That's the cool part about it. There's so many different people, so many different ways to play it. Yeah, sorry, Jordan. But like I said, uh, there's a lot of people that have cross-plays uh, with PlayStation and everything. Uh, Faber... Faber Farming, uh, Driver 53, uh, with, the, with our FS crew, we try to do it. Unfortunately, it's, there's not been many people doing it. Um, I know, I think Bruce, no, you guys, well, you and Chad, it's, it's the thing, there's so many people out there. If you ever need any questions or have anything you want to look into or want to play multiplayer or whatnot, you know, talk to some people. Somebody will find you some groups if we don't have anything right offhand. It's pretty easy to get a hold of somebody. There's a lot of people that play this game, like you said, and console and PC, so it's a lot of ways to get connected, but I 
yeah, unfortunately, there's some PC only. There's quite a few. Well, even like, uh, I got to check out too. I don't know if you guys saw Lance of La Mancha got an update today. From what that was showing, it stated that he has, um, I got to see where this guy's at. Oh, he's still only halfway there. Okay, cool. He said he has, uh, oh, credit, what are they called now? In the middle of fields, they do the spraying and stuff. I'm like, what? So I gotta check into that because that, that sounds really cool. I can't remember what the heck it was called now, right off the top of my head. I'm. These are my marbles, man. Uh, Big Rig Frosty is another one too. Yeah, they they all do multiplayer. Big Rig Frosty is usually on, I think seven or. He's on about, I think about an hour from now, and he does a multiplayer with group people. Generally, it's his people that are subscribed to him, you know, it's the same thing. A lot of people do that, but there's a lot of multiplayer people that, that are out there, cross-play and everything out there. Um, I'm just not doing it tonight. I'm sorry, man. It's one of those deals, but... No, not Tramlet. It's... It's an... It's, what is they... Dang it. The, what the irrigation system they have in the middle that that rotates around. I cannot remember it for the life of me. What is I talking about? I'm losing my marbles, man. Yeah, and once somebody says it, I'm like, doo, doo, doo. I know it. I just just <laughs> I just can't believe I wasn't paying attention. And I really like these freaking McCormicks. They're so nice. The red, the little. Oh, so cool. Ah, uh, what is it? Uh. I think now I gotta look it up. <laughs> See, I could multitask a little more with farm sim. When I'm on ATS, not so much. Because when you're in the middle of driving, I crash enough as it is. I don't need extra help doing it. <laughs> Pivots. That's what I was thinking of the pivots. So I just heard him say pivots. I'm like, wait, what? He's doing what with the pivots? Yeah, basically sprinklers. I'm like, that's a cool idea. He's got pivots in there. All right. Well, we know we can grow mow the outside of the grass. That's pretty awesome. So I'm gonna take some of that. I think we might turn into compost. See what we could. Curious about the compost looks like. Work that out. What? What? Oh, that guy's getting filled up over there, huh? Yeah, that critter's mod, it gets to be kind of loud sometimes, but it sounds so cool. Actually, let me go over to this one, yeah. This sounds like, like with the claws, the horns. It sounds like a freaking horn. See how this thing folds out? It's pretty cute, huh? Pretty cute. Pretty cute. Oh, um. I like to have crop destruction on, but since I'm going the wrong way, <laughs> I don't want it on right now. Dumps right in there, boom. <laughs> Oops. You'd have to aim it a little bit better because of that thing. But I just think this looks kind of cool, like an old, some of those old farms you see. Big old 
I don't know, just metal things sitting out there. I'm doing really well here, aren't I? I like to change the cruise control, but kind of have to right now if I'm going to do this. Got to get it right in the little spot, right in the hole properly. <laughs> hey, Hodge, one. how you doing there, bud? So, if you're having a good day, thanks for jumping and say hello. He's done. You know what? You're done. I'm gonna stop you. Cause I want to get the rest. Of oh, that's. I was almost empty anyway. Never mind. Guess I didn't need to do that after all. All right. That's good. Huh. Switching around to everything there. See, it kind of looks like the Sorghum one too. I don't know. Interesting for sure. I'll just leave this guy down here. Go back to this guy here. Um, I'm actually going to do a couple things here real quick. I'm going to try that Jeep out because that's throwing me off. i got to try this thing out because I don't know why it's not... Your standard auto load. Let's go crazy with it, right? <laughs> no, not that crazy, but. <laughs> I like the roof rack on there too, that really helps a lot, I think, too, but... Actually, I like the color, we'll just leave that. Alright, and I like a different windrow, or we want to get some windrow stuff. We're going to use this guy instead. Oops, at least that instead of bought it. Oh, well, whatever. So it's cool about this. Yo, 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 yo. <laughs> Go check that honey out, because I'm curious now, because it says it's supposed to take honey. But I haven't been able to get it to work for some reason. That's not cool. Oh, well, look at that. It took it. Huh. Well, I'm going to need to check into that because that is weird. I mean, that's cool that it works, but man. Hey, Ronnie! Thanks for jumping in and saying hello, buddy. Hope you're having a good evening, sir. I normally like to bail things, but we're going to go ahead and uh, use this guy heal. Because we're not doing a whole lot of it.
No, I, I, the Jeep's not too high. It's it's actually shorter than the one I just had there. So that's the weird part. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if it's just something that needs to be checked into or what exactly, but I don't know. It just threw me off. I'm like, wait, what? Well, now I know it works, but... Uh, anyway, whatever. Tis what it is. I'll check it out in a little while. But yeah, that was pretty weird. I'm glad I checked it out, though, because now I know it's supposed to work. <laughs> yeah. That's why the John Deere that was on here is sold. I just showed it to show what comes in it. Um, I got McCormick and Kloss, though, right now. But, yeah, I don't I definitely go more case. But I kept it somewhat green for the since green was on here. But <laughs> David. Ooh, it's vibrating my lip. It feels weird. <laughs> Yeah, Zalazot had something too. He's got his stuff just a bit different. Where did the freaking harvester go? Oh, seriously? My distance is not really good, apparently. Hmm, let's look into that. Too many checks I got to do. Yeah, some of the people have different types of things. Like Zalazot has definitely some different types of deals. Which is not, it's really cool to see them. Um, unfortunately, some of the things are just, they don't blend with other things. So you have to, or you have to have certain ways with certain things. So just everything's a little different. You know, that's what, that's what happens when you got mods. You'll have to have them edited or changed around or whatever they are to some other degree. Because that's just the way they work together. Which is pretty impressive to me too. When you got a game like this, a base game, you got, what, thousands of modders modding things. And even more thousands of mods that are popping in. Yeah, they don't all match together, blah, 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 blah. And yes, there's some things that happen, unfortunately. But generally, the whole concept is you put your mod in this person, this this company's game. And it's going to work with everybody else's mods together. Which is like, wow, that's crazy. And that's another reason why with the PC one, sometimes you have so many collisions where you... And nothing's perfect. You're going to have collisions, you're going to have problems, mod conflicts and whatnot. Oops, I'm full, apparently. Yay. I'll go ahead and finish this row out at least, so at least get the tedding part, or the windrow part. Yippee-yay! Yippee-yay! <laughs> Your ankle hurts, well quit kicking things there, Ronnie. <laughs> Is it that John Deere you had to keep kicking trying to get the thing to start? <laughs> That's funny. So I don't know. Uh, yeah, put it in the compost. I want to see what the compost looks like. Meet meet mother mother suckers. <laughs> For only being on here for just a little bit, I've already kind of learned the farm, apparently, so that's cool. Ooh, dang it. A little bit too, too close there. All right. Yeah, buddy. Bye-bye, Grassy Poo. And we're going to grass compost that. There we go. Composting it. Yeah. Cool. Composter's running. Just gonna make some compost for the composter. <laughs> Welcome back, Jack. I mean, Jewel. <laughs> this just popped in my head. Sorry, Jewel. <laughs> Good evening, bro. Sol <laughs> Bruce Soltar. 
Jeez, broth soaker, yeah. Sorry about that. <laughs> How you doing, Bruce? If you jump in and say hello, appreciate it. It's been a weird. I'm supposed to go to watch, check out some houses with some other friends, with my friends again. This, they had another one that was available. They checked out today, and I was like, man. And then right after lunchtime, my stomach started hurting pretty bad. I'm like, ah, what the heck's going on? So I don't know what happened. I don't want to be around people when, you know, you're not feeling so well. <laughs> but, uh, I was like, man, and I'm like, geez. If I stay sitting here in one spot like I am now, I'm not so bad off. But every once in a while, I get that, you know, inside your stomach kind of... I guess that grind, that churning, it's its like, what the hell? I don't know if I ate something crappy for my lunch or what, but whatever. Yeah, Ronnie. It's funny how the dumb doctors get paid so dang good, though, don't <laughs> I get certain aspects of it, but holy crap, man. I make way more money. And the sad part is a doctor can have somebody die on their watch, and they're okay. They still get paid for it. What? What other job do you know that you can accidentally kill somebody and still get away with it and get paid for it on top of it? I know it sounds like a dark way to say it, but still. <laughs> it's kind of true. I say it's not one turn very well, is it? Another thing I'm really going to be excited about, if I can get into the house situation, get out of this apartment deal, I will have to deal with my neighbor banging crap all over the wall all the damn time. You know, that gets annoying. Hey, D-Max. Hey, Joe. What's up, buddy? Heard some people talk trash about you today. No, I'm just... People were asking where you're at. I'm glad you're doing all right, bud. go dump this off um, I don't know if you can get it over there I keep on looking at your I, I, you, you change your uh, your little icon there Joe and I'm like oh oh that's Joe <laughs> you think of somebody new sometimes D-Max, I think I said hello to you. Sorry about that if I miss you, bud. Thanks for jumping and say hello. Appreciate it. Dump this into the composter. Then we'll go get our harvest off the ground and then go work on other fields, see what happens. Boom, boom, bada boom, boom, boom. We're making some compost. That's pretty cute. Cute. I guess I can actually go get the uh, hole the heel. Oh, I didn't even do the uh, well, let's take a look at the calendar while we're at it, too. I didn't look at that either. Pretty basic looks like here. Me oh, we got extra crops. Almost forgot about those down there. Boy, Ryan spelt take a while. You have to put them in in September, and you can't harvest them till June. Some hops. Get some hops. Some hopsies. Hops. This is what I forgot to do. Dang it. Uh, nope. That's the wave. <laughs> it's nice enough to have some extra space here so you don't really have to do headlands necessarily. Just punch it and go. So that part's kind of cool. Uh, 
I'm glad you're doing good, Joe. That's good to hear. Yeah, it's yeah that whole that whole thing too. D Max, you're right. It's it's been a mess, but whatever. I mean, what can we do about it? You know, <laughs> fortunately, the government's in charge of what we say on those things. Stupid, but whatever. Well, there we go. All right, so this one will get straw. For that's that's why I couldn't get the. So I know I had the extra um crop straw thing. But this is a new crop, so it didn't recognize it. So that's why it didn't let me do it. So that's a bummer. Oh, <laughs> like, why am I going so slow? Oh, yeah, because I put the freaking cruise control down to Zippo, pretty much. <laughs> well, that's the problem, too. I mean, you got military you have teachers you have these people that are really doing a lot more for I mean don't get me wrong doctors do a lot of good absolutely yeah police officers and firefighters and a lot of them are getting bad reps because of these bad ones that are out there and it's sad to see that because they don't not all of them deserve that but what can you do about it that's the only drawback it's 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 a bummer it's a bummer for sure Let's see, what can you do with this stuff? I wonder what you can do with this stuff. <laughs> That's pretty cool too, the little uh oh yeah, I forgot I almost forgot about those. These generators here. Boom. Eighteen thousand a month. It's a pretty cool idea. Maybe like uh, like I was talking about in Bruce's stream too. I don't know. Oh, it might have been Rank. Rank was talking about it. Um, the Elm Creek edit that he has, it's just freaking nice. He did a really good job with that too. I mean, it, it looks really good. All right, so this has got to go down to our. Um, I kind of want to give animals some of this, but I don't know if. Let's spit it out. I'm not, I don't want to fill up, you know, how unfortunately. Like on 19, that's another thing I liked about 19 better. If you put feed in there, you can only put so much of each one, and then that would max out the full amount. Which this, you have to guesstimate, you know, if you got 8,000 liters and you got four things, but you can only put 2,000 of each to max it out. It's just, just kind of more of a pain. Yeah, grocery store. Man, I tell you, the groceries nowadays are ridiculous, too, unfortunately. I like my eggs, but good gravy, they're expensive. <laughs> Speaking of the devil, there's a rank right there. Are you driving? You're not You're not playing farm sim right now because you jumped into my stream, apparently. <laughs> Appreciate you jumping. Yeah, I was just talking about how I was talking about the Elm Creek edit by Stevie that was really good. This one's really cool, too, man. It's just... Pretty nice. I mean, it's kind of—it's cool because some of the buildings are kind of close, but yet they're not so close where you just can't move anymore. You know. Ooh, I had to get straw up too. Yes, I forgot about that. So one thing I wish we could do a different horn on this one. Because it's uh it's alright, but I think it'd be better in a different way. Get out the way, birds of chicken.
It's a nice map rank. It's um, I don't know if you, uh, well the animals they take different stuff too. So you gotta. That's the biggest thing I noticed too. And if you go on any kind of new map, if it's not like a base game or like a farm, even like like we were talking about the New Jersey map, the feed changed a little bit because it was doing crack corn for the chickens and a few other things. So double check them before you really invest into it. Because you might go in there and go, oh, I'm going to do a bunch of uh, blah, blah, blah. Oh, TMR might not work here because it doesn't even say TMR on here. I don't even know what they actually take. Now, in the bottom description, it says that because that's the base, rank, base uh, information. But as you can see, it says silage or grass or alfalfa, dry grass, blah, blah. So it's a little bit different for sure. And same thing with all of them have something slightly different. To some degree. But, you know, it is what it is. But, uh, yeah, so it's always good to double check things, of course. Oh, no problem. Uh, well, thanks for jumping in, Jewel. Appreciate you. You have a great rest of your Valentine's Day. Hopefully, I think you're still Valentine's Day. But enjoy your rest of your day and uh, night or whatever you got going on there. And, uh, thanks for jumping in. Appreciate you. You have a good night. Well, good night from my side, sorry. <laughs> All right, so we'll take the straw. I think we'll dump this in, oh shoot, cows and pigs need, oh, and horses need this, don't they? Wow. Is it bad that I want to get some manure? <laughs> Only because I want to try out the, um, whatchamacallit, the thingamajig over there, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, thanks DMX, DMAX, sorry, appreciate it. Oh, take care, Ronnie. Yeah, good to see you again. I'm glad you jumped in. Appreciate it. I know usually you don't jump in uh, afterwards, but I appreciate it, man. It's nice to see you, Ronnie. Thanks, bud. <laughs> Try to watch you a little bit earlier today, too. I know I've, I've been kind of bouncing around some streams, but trying to work, too, I don't get a chance to really say too much. It's pretty limited, unfortunately, but... What you doing? My dog's sitting here next to me going, hey. <laughs> She's a goober butt. I appreciate it, buddy. Thanks, man. Mr. Johansson. <laughs> I I'm, I'm hope I'm saying that right. I don't want to butcher your name. Either. I'm bad with some of these names, man. Heck, even my last name, I, I know how to say it, but of course. <laughs> it's one of those. One of those. Oy. Oh, they got a close to full green tank. Oh, wait, so do I. Dang, that's awesome. I don't have the person driving with me tonight. I left them at home. <laughs> I thought I was there. Come on, grab it. Such a pain to kind of hit the tiny little hole, right? <laughs> anyway, 
So I hope everybody's doing good, having a good Valentine's Day, you know, or as like some of us call it, single awareness day. Which I'm fine. I'm aware I'm single every day and I'm fine with it. I don't care. <laughs> which uh which map are you on on you and RV or which farm? I'm actually playing two different ways on that one right now. Didn't mean it to happen that way, it just kinda went that way. Pretty sure they're emptied. Alright, cool beans. Literally beans. <laughs> yeah, they're empty. Cool. Yeah, on the uh, the server that I'm playing on, the multiplayer, it, I'm actually on the uh, I can't remember which one. It's on the Wisconsin side, up on the hill back there. There's a cow barn. It's only one cow area, but that was the last farm that was available because somebody left it. I'm like, oh, okay. It's actually not a bad farm area. It's just a little bit tighter, but it's still pretty nice. Nice, yeah. That's cool. Yeah, that's the nice thing about the map, too. He has two options. You can do... Uh, or you can take the... Uh, you can do the regular one where you have all the... Um, sorry, I'm trying to remember where the heck I'm going here. <laughs> where you can do all the... Everything that's already on the map, or you can get the one that's clean slate where it's just the map and you, you can put everything in afterwards. Which I think that's a really cool idea. I mean, ideally, I wish you would have been able to take where you could take the buildings off the map and rearrange them a little bit. Little stuff like that, mainly because some of them are pretty dang tight in there. My biggest problem is some of those barn or some of those parts, you can't fit a harvester. There's no way you can fit a harvester in there. So that's a bummer, but. Let's see, where are we at with the animals here? Oh, where's the piggies? Okay, they're almost full of straw. Damn, they take a lot of straw, don't they? Sheesh. Sheesh kebab. And compost, how are we working on that? Ooh, we're getting some good compost going. Look at that. Not too shabby, though. I want to get some manure and some water, apparently. <laughs> So I'm going to go ahead and uh, do a couple quick little cheaty things. I just want to get some manure going. <laughs> Sorry. All right, so. Actually, I don't think I need this big of a truck for that. Can't remember if we have trailers. Where are we at with the trailers? Oh yeah, we got that guy. Okay, cool. We'll just leave that there for right now. We'll go do this. <laughs> Yeah, there's a, the, the one up by the, you're talking about the one right next to the lake where it's got like three or, was it three of them or four of those barns? Run through there. Um, what? Where's the other cow? Oh. What's wrong with me? We won't get into that. Don't answer that, anybody. <laughs> yeah, three barns up there. Okay, yeah. Uh, the one right next to it, too, to the left of that one, that's a nice one as well. 
Um, the one I'm doing my role play on, it's just it's the other one. Um, there's it's actually oh god, what is the name of it? I can't remember the name of it off the top of my head. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. Please don't don't judge me. Or do do it. I don't really care. <laughs> I'm trying to test some stuff out, so. There we go. Let's do pig food. I should be able to just soak up everything, right? Yep, there we go. Getting that feed going. And they don't need water. Oh, they do need water. Well, okay, there it is. Maybe I should have got the big trader, huh? <laughs> Nuclear! Welcome back, senor. Glad you could make it, sir. Actually, I'm going to dump this off. I'm going to go grab the uh, water bucket with this one and have the other... Or can I? Oh, I forgot that freaking... <sighs> Do 100,000 liters in this bad boy. How much does this one take? Fifteen thousand? Yeah. We'll just use a Jeep. <laughs> Sorry, I'm thinking while I'm talking. I'm like, what am I doing? What do I do here? I don't know what I do here. <laughs> just wanna do this. They got maxed out real quick. Oh, crap. It's like 50%. <laughs> That's what I was trying to avoid in the first place, but oh well, whatever. <laughs> this is the way to do it, man. Just ding, 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 dong, ding, dong. <laughs> I can find where the heck the mineral feed is at. So one thing they have is so many things, unfortunately, you gotta scroll through. Technically, you should be able to find. Oh, there it is, right there. Technically, it shouldn't be too hard to find, but yeah, there's time to take quite a bit. Ooh, that takes a lot of mineral feed. Holy cow. I'll just do one of these cow barns, I think, so. <laughs> Looking for silage, 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 silage. That's it, yep, shingle, okay. Ooh, pistachio? All apple almond? Hey, do I want some now, dang it? Crap, what am I looking for? Silage, that's right. I think this thing says it takes silage, right? Or am I losing my marbles? Oh, shot. Whew! Oh yeah? Yeah, that's a lot of corn stock sauce. Yeah, you can get some... Jeez, man, you can do a lot of good stuff on that. That's several of these maps, you got so many good things to do, but yeah, it's... It's one of those deals that comes up. All right. 
one. So actually, I'm gonna do straw last because I want to put straw inside as well. Do grass here or hay. Oh, nice. Yeah, no problem, BC Paladin. Thanks for jumping in, man. Appreciate you. Take care. Have a great night, and uh, we'll catch you next time, bud. Appreciate it. Alright, so it does all filled up. So... I'm going to put some TMR in here so they have some food now, but that machine will start. Ah, oh, crap. Apparently the dude's empty. Or full, I should say. This one has... Uh, My milkshake brings all the boys that wait what I think that's what Nick would say his he thinks his milkshake brings all the boys to the yard <laughs> corn gluten free that's interesting I gotta say some of those pizzas they sound kind of gross I'm like wow that doesn't sound right Potato, who's had a potato pizza before? Anybody? Sounds weird to me. Where? Oh, there it is right there. I was like, where is it? I know it was here somewhere. Almost forgot about the heisties and stuff here. Let's see. This is for the female ones. Yep, okay, cool. Oh, cool. So, yeah, if you just put TMR in a lot of Mac, jump out. Sweet. That's good to know. That's very good to know. Only one that doesn't do that, too, is the chickens. It makes them go, what are you talking about? I'm going to throw some in with the, uh... Oops. Oh, smushy. I think I crinkled a little, didn't it? Hey, Artemis, how's it going there, sir? Thanks for jumping in and saying hello. Artemis, is, you're in the uh, multiplayer for Farmer Client too, aren't you? Thanks, Artemis. Thanks for subscribing. Appreciate it, sir. It's very kind of you. Damn. I forgot to check silage. Well, whatever. <laughs> I'm just making things for these animals. They can just eat it or get on with their day. <laughs> of pig food is back further. Oh, oh, there it is. Yeah, that's what I... I was doing the same thing, Artemis. I'm on the... Because uh, uh, one of the other guys wasn't answering. He never showed up. So Schultz is like, hey, uh, one of the farmers is available if you want to jump on it. I haven't heard from him. Heck yeah. So I got stuck with whatever was left over, more or less. <laughs> Which is cool, because I, I don't mind the farm I'm on up there, but man, I tell you, that snow gets thick and you can't do a damn thing with it. Just sitting there going, do twiddle in your thumbs. Hey, hey, Jake Dup! Jake, Jake Dup, seven, seven. <laughs> Thanks for jumping in and saying hello, brother. Appreciate it, man. Just kind of messing around, figuring some stuff out. Oh, I had to get water. That's another thing I forgot. This Jeep is ridiculous. It's a Myrsion. 
just like Dominic, he's a ridiculous Dominic. Oh, did you see that? I meant to do that. <laughs> oh, here's other shop trigger. That's right. There's one right here. There's one here, and there's that small one in the uh, right here. Bingo, bingo, bambo. So that's pretty cool. All right. Um, oh, I need this. Well, I'm not gonna lie. Kind of my Tuesdays and Thursdays are kind of like that. <laughs> At least right now. At least for right now. Since I don't have to go in the office, it's kind of nice. Do, 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 do. Boop, boop, do. Oh, yeah. So we'll get this all taken care of. Get the beans of soy. I thought that was a pretty cool idea when Omatana came out with the uh, soybean, uh, the soy drink factory back in back you know a while back. Because at first, the only thing you do with soybeans is just sell them off, which is fine. I get it, but it's kind of nice to have an option to actually produce them into something else. Oh no problem, Jake. Yeah, sorry. Like I said, I get to stick around a whole lot when during the daytime. I, get in when I can and say hello and then you know I gotta work half the time Tuesdays and Thursdays are a little more lenient because I'm at home so I can have my laptop on watching YouTube while I'm trying to do some work in the background or whatever but uh yeah Wednesday, Monday, Wednesday, Friday I'm in the office and generally I don't get a chance to do much because it's so busy I mean it's busier I'm not at my desk a lot but yeah it's cool it's good to be in there good to see people yeah, I was joking around because at first I couldn't. I was like, "What is that on his forehead?" I, I thought you had a hat on or something because my laptop screen is kind of—it's not bad, but trying to watch chat and all. And I'm like, "Oh, that's his the mic boom was kind of right in by your forehead." Just took me a minute to figure out what it was. That's all. <laughs> but it's—it's it's cool. I need to get once I get hopefully get the house thing situated here in the next month or so, and then we'll be able to get some. Uh, maybe be able to actually get some more things edited up and much better set up and uh, maybe even a webcam or something. I don't, I don't know. I, my problem is I do stupid stuff off camera that I don't know if I want to show everybody doing it on camera. <laughs> uh, why aren't you spitting that out? Cool. This one goes over here. Give me some water. I do like that big barner. That's pretty cool. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and smack this guy around a little bit and make it work for our pleasure. Oh, wait. I mean, for water. <laughs> Boom, water's full. All right, so piggies are... They're set. Let's do this. Do it. Piggies are good. Uh, we get some water over to the... Sheep need water? No, they're good. P yeah. Cows need water. And uh, I think that's about it. Oh, I guess I could do the horses, but whatever. Um, where's the water go for the cows? Hmm. Oh, yeah, I forgot. There's a few water thing right here. So you don't have to do the cheating mode. I just did this water supply right there. Actually, fills up pretty quick, too. That's pretty awesome fairly fast still. Hey, Chris Miller. Hey, thanks for jumping in and saying hello. Appreciate you, bud. Oh, you got to <laughs> you do 20 squats? Yeah, it's awesome, dude. That's what's nice about this community, too. 99.99% .99 of the people are really awesome, and you get, everywhere you go, there's going to be one or two little 
torque bags, but hey, you know what? That's the problem. That's their problem. Way different than other games. I used to play, you know, I still play Call of Duty and stuff like that, but the communities that were into those were just, a lot of them were so horrendously just rude. It just sucked, man. So it's so nice to have a little bit different scenarios and different people to work with or be around and whatnot. Hey, Chris, thanks for jumping in and say hello. Well, Chris, <laughs> Chris Miller and Chris stuff, sorry about that. <laughs> Got the double Chris, and there was double Bruce going on earlier, too, so. And if Rob D. Titan comes in, we got the Rob Squared. We're golden, man. Nothing else can compare. <laughs> Chickens don't need water, of course. Uh, they got water, they got water, no water. Oh, horses don't need water. Hmm, interesting. Very interesting. I don't usually use my yard, this dirty messiness, but I'm just trying to get some things done here. So that's the protein. I wish I would have watched that a little more. Whoops. I want to get some manure and some, uh, actually I need water over there, don't I? Let me get back in the truck. More water. I want to check out these, uh, Whatchamacallit's on the thingamajigs. <laughs> so what, uh, I know it was February 3rd. Okay, so it'll be March 1st tomorrow on the server, right? Artemis. Kind of curious. I want to play around with that farm area. I'm going to make it a little bit different, but... There's too much snow! <laughs> Can't do anything with all the snow on it, man. I don't want to go overboard with... Okay, no water. They're separate. Cool. See, that's what I don't understand is... See how... With the uh, production, is everything separate? Why can't they do that with the animal feed? You put some wheat up to this much, uh, some of this up to that much. To just... Yeah, no, that's not manure, Chris Miller. That's 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 some nuclear newer, <laughs> nuclear, <laughs> nuclear slurry manure. <laughs> yeah, that's ugh. twenty squats for twenty likes. Oh, dice. Oh shoot, that meant I'd have to probably have to do thirty of them right around. Almost. Wait, where's the water at? Oh, okay. All right, we we'll put water in this other guy, too. I want to just check it out. Love the power of PC, man. I feel so bad for my PlayStation. It's sitting over there. Oh, crap. It's not even online right now. It? I reset all my stuff once a week, because you should. Reboot everything. Literally restart. But, yeah. Hey, look, some more honey coming out. Sweet. The honey does produce pretty nicely. I like that. Um... Let's take a look here. Got a little bit of compost. So what I'm going to do... Um, actually, we get this guy over here. I guess I get more straw and the grass. Oh, what is the composter doing? You know, yeah, it's still pumping away. Oh, it's got plenty. We're, we're good. Never mind. Never mind. I want to see one of those that says Goodyear on the side of it. That'd be cool. Here's <laughs> the Goodyear blimp. Yay. Wait for it. Oh, did you see it jerk back? Boom. I love how they did that on this. It's interesting. Some of them do really well. Other ones don't. Klaus just almost always is like, bam, I'm good. <laughs> it's amazing how good Klaus can be on that part. Get this dumped out of here. We'll go ahead and go through the night so we get some nur and some more, uh, whatchamacallit, and then we'll call it a day. 
night, whatever you want to call it. Alrighty then. Oh, well, look at that. I didn't even realize what this was, but boom. Let's run away with it. Oh, no, it goes away. <laughs> so we'll run over here to the... Hey, those are the bulls. We don't want to mess with those. Let's go ahead and sleep till the morning. Bam. We'll get some newer. And we'll go throw it in there. How many should be golden? On a Sunday afternoon. All right. Oh, crap. I was leasing something I forgot about. Hey, chickens. Is it making me any eggs yet? What is wrong with... Oh, I don't have... Composters done now. Okay. Chickens are... Why? What? Well, screw you too, chickens. <laughs> The cows are making some milk. Those ones aren't doing anything because they don't. Okay. Whatever. Whatever. So where's the manure? All right, there's some manure. I don't think the pigs have a. They don't have a manure pit over here. Okay, cool. Whatever. But it should mount off of another one, right? Uh, are they all just off of one? Wow. Do they all run off of one? That's interesting. Very interesting indeed. No, if my manure is gold, I better sell that stuff on eBay. <laughs> Adelaide Golden Poo. Sell it for like nine gazillion dollars. Like, yay, I'm a winner. <laughs> or at least wish.com. You know, I get some money for it there. Anything get paid for there. <laughs> Yeehaw, manure time. Oops, uh, I guess I'm going that way. <laughs> Yum. Yum. Oh, yeah, I forgot I could put m milk in there and make homogenized milk. Ah, that's what that looks like. Splatter, splatter. <laughs> Yummy. All right, we're going to go ahead and tap this up with some manure. I got to start just doing a smaller instead of... Oh, that's a pile. That's a big pile of stuff. <laughs> I gotta stop uh, putting so many mods into one folder because I keep going, oh that looks cool, I'm gonna use that in my main folder mod, next thing I know I got 900 mods in there and I'm like we're like 9,900 is even not that bad, some of these people some of y'all have way too many mods and I can be one of them at times, absolutely oh, I got some more honey coming out nice, the honey's moving along pretty well all right, now I want to go ahead and uh, empty this guy. And we're going to pull out our compost that we produced with this grass. There's also straw I could have used, but I didn't. Well, that's interesting looking.
Well, that's cool. It looks like soil, basically, composted. That's pretty cool. That goes in over there. Nice! What do I do? Pumpkins? Melon, let's do those. Let's throw some compost over here. I'm going to do red cabbage because it's the only one we don't know what it looks like. Really. Red cabbage in the field looks like freaking aliens, though, man. That stuff's trippy looking. All right, and now we can go ahead and uh, fast forward, see what happens. Well, I don't have the mod I was hoping I had in here, so I'm gonna go ahead and just do the sleep mode. You have a time mod where you can hit the button up to like 5,000. It's pretty cool. <laughs> and we're gonna just sleep anywhere, bam. I, th I guess well, 17 was the first time they did mods, right? Because I just started at 19 when it was free on PlayStation. I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah. And then I started going, I was, I was like, oh, it's a free game because every month they do the free stuff. And I was like, oh, crap, I should probably look at the new ones right now. <laughs> and I was like, ah, who the heck's going to play a farming game? That's weird, blah, 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 blah. And then after I started playing around with them, oh, this is so amazing. And then I was like, oh, there's mods? It took me like several months to figure out there's mods. Well, they're not ready yet. That's interesting. So, melons take a while, apparently. Which isn't a bad thing. Let's just sleep on it again. And then I uh, saw people playing on PC and how different it really was. I'm like, what? I mean, I tore up Felsburn. I tore the heck out of that place trying to learn about animals and all that sort of stuff. That main farm area, I flattened that thing so many times and re-flattened it and re-flattened it and redid it again and put animals in there, put these animals in there, and then, oh, man, it was crazy. There's our, there's our bumpkins, I mean, pumpkins. <laughs> That's cool. Pumpkins, That's some melons, and we have some uh, cabbage, red cabbage. It's pretty awesome. And the prices of those... We're down here. Okay, wind alfalfa. Nice. Carrots aren't too bad. Onion. Oh, onion's got a decent price. Rye. Spelt. Triticle. Millet. Hops. I want to do a brewery where you actually make hops, barley, you know, put stuff together. Okay, I gotta. I think I have to figure something. Thing. Poppy, and you can't really. I don't know what you can really do with it. Ooh, icing sugar. Oh, I bet that, that rainbow frosting, that's the weird signal. So these are part of the new, uh, some of his uh, sugar mill that he's talking about. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, no kidding, Bruce. I mean, it is. And that's the thing with any, oh, sorghum syrup, nice. Okay, red cabbage, ooh, not bad price, $1,600 for those. Well, these are all the same price range, so why wouldn't you just keep the red cabbage alone? They grow faster. Huh. That's interesting. French fry. Milkshake. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, Mexican restaurant. That sounds really good. Mexican food with a nice strawberry milkshake after. Bam! Or fast food even, you know, whatever. <laughs> Ice cream. Ooh, compost. Who wants to eat some of that? Uh, oil. Homogenized milk is definitely a better price than regular milk. That's cool. That's cool, very, very, very cool. Well, where's the milk here? Yeah, it's a little better than that. Sweet. But awesome. That's really cool. That's really, really cool. Oh, um... Um. 
don't kill the chickens, huh? <laughs> that is cool. I like the Firebird because you have a couple options with it, which is really neat, but it's a pretty cool mod. Not too shabby. I'm going to go ahead and uh, we're going to take care of it there, though. I'm going to go ahead and do something. One last bit there, but everything's pretty cool. A different, little bit different meals. Um, field feed the stuff. I said if you guys first comment below or down the section below, I got put the uh, map so you can take a look at it if you want to get it for PC. And go from there, but oh yeah. Oh, oh crap. Oh, we didn't flip it. I thought we flipped it for a second. This poor cotton field is getting tore up. There's a few undulations, but not a whole, whole lot. <laughs> this thing wants to take off some time, so it's all good. But yeah, we're going to go ahead and call it on that one there. Uh, everything looks pretty good on here. Definitely a good idea to play around with it. I think I'm going to tinker around with some more. Maybe do another little extra series. Ooh, look at that. Oh, spin it out. But yeah, that's no, uh, it's a good solid map. The Stevie, we all anybody that knows any Stevie's maps, he does a really good job just editing things and everything he does, and I'm just really cool. But yeah, this is really nice. It's got a lot of good options on it. I'm gonna definitely tinker around a little bit more and get some more information. It's still in beta, so there's some other options that may come about. So that's pretty awesome, but. Looks like a lot of fun, that's for sure. But other than that, yeah, we're going to go ahead and move forward and uh, take care of business. So thank you all for coming out. I appreciate it. Everybody's been great. Artemis. Yeah, no, exactly. Like, the roller coaster is really cool. Artemis on there, too. And once you get it rolling, it's really cool that you can ride it. I wish you could do the boats, though. That's kind of irritated me. I wish they could have done something with the boats. Even just grab it when it slides out into the water, do, like, a cut scene where it just pops up and does that, and then, boom, you're done. Something simple. That would have been really, really cool. You know, but, uh, because you see the boat float out, and then it spins and goes out. It's just a little cut scene where you're on the boat. It falls out of the water. Boosh. And then once it starts to turn around, you get a little panoramic scene of the, the, the river. Boom. Jumps back up onto the shore. You're done. Simple. Thanks, Jake. Appreciate it. You're so great, too. Chris Miller, Bruce, uh, Frank. All you guys. Everybody. Sorry, everybody. I know there's a David. Uh, everybody, thanks for jumping in, saying hello. And uh, yeah, I'll see you around the server here. I'm probably going to jump in there a little bit and see what it looks like or get some ideas. That's the one problem with the fast nights, though. Because working during the daytime, the fast night goes through, it might be morning time when I'm in bed, or one day, and then a couple of days later, it'll be morning time around lunchtime, you know, just, <laughs> but whatever, it is what it is. Um, yeah, no, that's why I sold the John Deere, David. <laughs> you guys have a good night, take care, and uh, appreciate you. Nuke, too, thank you, man, appreciate everybody.